What's happening? It's your man, OG Bo Beats TV. Coming to you today with another special video. What's good? What's good? What's happening, YouTube? It's your man, OG Bo Beats. And I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're chilling. Hope you find yourself in good health and wealth. You know what I'm saying? And stay blessed up. Um, you know, today I got a quick. Hold on, let me take this call. Anyway, like I was saying, man, I had to take that call back to the video. Um, where was I at? Where was I at? Where was I at? Oh, yeah. Uh, so hope everybody's having a great day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on the video, share the video and all of that good stuff. Um, I got a double unboxing today. All right. It's going to be quick. It's going to be brief. I got the shoes right here, so they're not going to fall out the sky today. I got a double unboxing of some Air Jordan mids and I picked these up on the fly. All right. On the fly. Right, I'm a frequent visitor of a of a certain store that sells shoes um, where I work at. Sometimes they have shoes, sometimes they don't. They get them sporadically. You never know. So I literally go every single day and do a quick walkthrough, see if they got shoes. So this day, right, which was a couple days ago, walked into the store and boom, they had them sitting there. I usually go midday because they just put them out whenever they feel like it sometimes. They do do releases here and there where like you gotta come Saturday morning and wait in line or you know. Um, but most of the time when it's mids and lows, they put them out. They haven't had any mids and lows in a while. At one point, they had all of the lows, all of the mids. And I, I thought about getting them back then. Now I probably would have. I guess in hindsight, this is when the mids and the lows wasn't as popping. Um, I did snag a few pair that I liked, so at the end of the day, I'm good to go. Um, but now, it's so crazy, man. You hold on to shoes, and you know the price goes up. So I like to collect and then resell. Collect and then resell. I don't resell much, but I do uh, plan on getting rid of some shoes, but we'll get into that later. For now, let's check out these two right here, man. So which one we gonna open up first? Any, any, mighty, mo. All right. I tell you what, we are gonna do a double unboxing pretty much at the same time. So right here we got the Air Jordan One Mid, white, 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 or AKA triple white. Right here we got the Air Jordan One Mid, white, Arctic orange. For some reason, I thought these was crimson, like the crimson low ones but apparently these are arctic orange they look exactly the same maybe i gotta see them both in hand to, to see the difference in the color all right but uh retail 115 115 i paid 92 right each right so i got that discount which is 15 8 that's a 23 dollar discount plus i happen to have a, a special gift card so i took another 20 off so I ended up paying 164 for both pair. Retail, that would be 230. So you're looking at already, and that's without tax. You're looking at 30, you're looking at about a, uh, what's that? 30, $66 um, discount. So you really can't beat it. All right, but let's go ahead. You know, the Jordan 1 mids and lows come in the black box with the 23 paper, nothing new about that. We're gonna take that one out. And then we're gonna take this one out. All right, so boom, check that out. Boom, check that out. So here we have Air Jordan Mids. All right, so let's talk about it, man. Like I was saying before, Air Jordan Mids wasn't that popular at all. Um, until about a good six, seven, maybe a year ago, they started to kind of pop up. And it was like, to be honest, we really didn't have a choice, you know, unless you're going out to pay resale for every Jordan high, you was gonna have to either get some mids or just say you wasn't messing with them. A lot of people still don't mess with mids and that's understandable and it's okay. Um, but I like them, you know, nothing wrong with them. It's an Air Jordan shoe. You got lows, mids, highs, and it is what it is. It's a classic shoe, Air Jordan 1. Um, so you really can't go wrong with this shoe, man. 
especially now with dunks being so popular, all dunks are selling out. All Air Jordan uh, highs are selling out. Most of the lows and a lot of the mids, depending on the situation. Um, but I got these two shoes. I think they're both pretty dope. This Air Jordan 1 triple white, um, this is definitely dope right here. As you can see, they finally did something cool and take a close look. They actually put tumble leather right on the blocking of this shoe, right? Finally, like that's all we've been asking is the quality upgrade on the mids. And really that's been the main problem is just the quality wasn't the same. You get that nice soft leather on Air Jordan 1 highs like on the court purples or, or the, uh, the light fusion red ones um, that just came out. And then you get the mids and a lot of times the quality is not the same. Um, I think this is a dope shoe, man. Really nothing to even go through with this. This is an all white Air Jordan 1. Um, but like I said, just check out the tumble leather. Check out the tumble leather on this, man. White strings. Um, this is a dope shoe. You could swap these laces out. I already was thinking about different lace swaps with this um, clean shoe. I was going to buy two. Uh, I was there and got these shoes when they were fully stocked. I'm pretty sure I was the first person to buy either one of these shoes from the store. I went back yesterday. Um, I got these two, day, two or three days ago. I went back yesterday and they still had some left. Now, if I go back today and they got another mid left, I don't know. Because it is something else there that I, that I want, but we'll talk about that later. So the next shoe, um, this shoe for sure, uh, and I'm pretty sure this is on Nike too. This is on Nike, this dropped the same day um, that a couple other Air Jordan 1s dropped. Um, and these are still sitting on Nike, if I'm not mistaken. Um, again, I think this is a dope shoe. You know, I wasn't sure about getting this one at first, and then I looked at it and I said, I'm gonna regret it if I don't. So with this, this, this color that you see is Arctic Orange. I thought it was crimson, but it's Arctic Orange. All right, so you got the Arctic Orange outsole, you got the all white midsole. You got the black toe box, which I actually love. You got the black strings. And then you got that Arctic Orange Nike swoosh with the back. I mean, this is a well put together shoe right here as far as color block. Um, you know, and then on the tongue on this one, you got the Arctic Orange Jumpman, right? With the air, you know, that's what you, the tongue you're gonna get on the, uh, the mids, um, be honest, if they did something with this tag on a few mids every now and then to make it a little bit different, I think that will hype the mids up a lot. Uh, and then even throwing a, maybe a jump man on the back of the mids every now and then would actually work. I got some uh, some white mids. I think they call the light gray, wolf gray. I forget what they call, but they got the jump man on the back. You know, so they have done it before. Um, but yeah, all in all, this is a dope shoe, man. Um, and this is a cool pickup. Let me know what y'all think. You know, y'all rocking with mids, uh, triple white, Arctic orange, got them for the low, can't be mad at it. You know what I'm saying? Um, tumble leather on this one, nice color blocking on this one. Let me know if y'all rocking with the mids, man. How do y'all feel about these right here? Got them for the low, can't complain. You know, it is what it is, man. OG Bo Beast TV, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like the video, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, until next shoe review, I'm out. Peace.